What's going on guys? I hope you're all having a good day so far. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of pistol testing. I've been waiting until the middle of the summer to do this because I wanted to test these loads when it was as hot as it's probably going to get in my region out and today is one of those days. It has been in the 90s and it is very very humid. You can't see out of any of the windows in the house because they are completely covered in condensation. So today is the day to do some testing. So what we've done is we have loaded up some self-defense test rounds with some Lehigh 90 grain extreme defense bullets and we're going to be testing those here in just a moment. We're using Starline Plus P brass even though the brass really isn't any different than their normal 9mm brass but they stamp it differently so that you can tell whether your loads are plus P or not. So anyway we're using those pieces of brass. We're using some federal small pistol, regular small pistol primers and we are using CFE pistol from 5.3 grains to 6.1 grains. We're using that on the designation of Lehigh's website. They had some load data and that's what we're going off of. We loaded nine rounds from that 5.3 to 6.1 and 0.1 grain increments all the way up to the max. And we're going to see how close we get to their velocity. My barrel is about a half inch shorter than their test barrel, which theirs was four inches. Mine's about three and a half. We're using a Ruger SR9C. That is my carry pistol, and it has served me very well over the years, and I find it to be very reliable. So that's the gun that we're going to be testing them in. And if they shoot well enough, that's what we're going to be loading. So anyway, we are going to be testing those here in just a moment. We've got the target set up behind me and the chronograph, as you can probably see if I get it in the camera frame. Now, I'm going to be filming from kind of a weird angle because I never have anybody here to help me film. So I am going to be setting it up on the bench behind me. I'm going to be stepping back seven yards. The chronograph is splitting the distance between me shooting and the target. And I am just going to test these out and see how it goes. So let's get started. Here you can kind of see our test setup. This is the Ruger SR9C pistol that we're going to be using. That's my carry gun. I've just got some normal ball ammo loaded in here. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to keep nine rounds in the 10 round magazine and I'm going to put one of these in there. I'm going to see if it'll chamber on its own, which none of them should have an issue. And I want to see if it will have enough force through the entire powder spectrum to eject the spent casing and load the next round from here. Now, I'm also going to test at some point how well these will load from the magazine um, firing one round and then loading another, but I don't want to do that throughout the whole test because I really just want to get velocity data and I don't really want to screw up the bullets. Um, I just kind of want to eliminate variables. So anyway, if you look here, there's one thing I wanted to point out. If you're loading these yourself, uh, depending on the cedar on your die set, uh, it may actually damage the bullets just a little bit. You can kind of see there, there's a bit of a divot on the edge of that kind of screwdriver looking tip. Now, this isn't a huge deal, I don't think, but it is something that I wanted to note. You can tell my hands are shaking a little bit because I just drank a bunch of coffee, so bear with me. My groups might be pretty poor. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to point that out to you guys. That's something that you may want to take into note when you're loading these. They're not like a ball tip round, so they may be um, a little funky when you're loading them. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to it and do some shooting. All right, so you guys can see I got the chronograph set up, the target. I, the barrel of the gun, the tip of the barrel, is measured out seven yards to the target. Not that it's really that critical, but just for reference, that's how far I'm going to be away from the target. The chronograph is about three yards. I've got the first round in the magazine loaded with the Lehigh Defense bullet, and then the rest are ball ammo. I'm going to put in the gun. I'm going to make sure it chambers okay. It's good. You can see the chamber flag right there, indicating that round is fully seated into the chamber. It's flush on the back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw the safety on. I'm going to film the velocity data with my GoPro on my phone so you guys can see the velocity as I do. And I'm just going to run one shot at a time. And I'm probably going to cut in and out so that I can reload the magazine each time we do this. So let's go ahead and get started. First round with 5.3 grains of CFE pistol. All right, so that hit pretty high. That may have just been me. Like I said, my hands are really shaky right now. <laughs> but so far, so good. Okay, so that first load should have produced about 1285 feet per second, and we got 1116 feet per second. So we're starting off pretty low considering that half inch difference in barrel. I didn't think we'd be losing quite that much, but it is what it is. Second round using 5.4 grains. 1158. All right, so at least I actually hit where I was aiming that time. <laughs> Probably just me on that first shot. Kind of excited to try out these new rounds. All right, so far so good. Let's try out the third one. 
1174. I'm pretty sure I'm just pulling those shots. I'm not going to blame the ammo, but we'll go ahead and keep going. I'm going to go ahead and run these next two sequentially, so uh, there's not going to be any break between firing. I just want to see how they feed when they're loaded in a stack. 1,183. 1,209. Gaining velocity. That's what we want. All right, we only got four left. Just so you know, I am checking the brass on all these after each shot. So if you do do tests like this, make sure you do the same thing. That's just for safety reasons. 1,190. 1,230. All right, only got two left. 1,259. All right, last one. 1,269. 1,269. Okay. So there's a couple things I want to talk about. First, we never even reached the published starting velocity for these loads based on the load data that we were looking at from Lehigh's website. Now, the reason that's okay, A, I don't really need a nine millimeter to be coming out at 14, 1500 feet per second. That'd be cool for a self-defense load. That's awesome and all, but I'm fine with that. It's not really that big of a deal to me. B these velocities are actually faster than what the the actual velocity that's coming out of the gun is faster than what my phone is saying right now because a i'm shooting it out of a shorter barrel than what they published the data on and the conditions that they shot in are probably higher i'm actually in the shade right now which is not ideal for a chronograph like this they actually recommend being out in direct sunlight or in cloud cover out in an open area they don't like to have tree shade on them, which I'm basically doing everything wrong per the instructions, so keep that in mind too. And three, the chronograph is three or four yards out in front of me, so nine millimeter loses steam pretty fast. These things don't retain a whole lot of velocity over any distance, so by the time that thing comes out of the gun and it gets to the chronograph, the velocity is not gonna be the same. Obviously, you're gonna lose who knows how many feet per second. I, I don't know. I'm not even going to give an estimate because it's probably going to be wrong, but a shorter barrel, not setting up the chronograph right, that's just a maybe, and having the chronograph at any distance out in front of you is going to reduce the velocity that you're going to see from your chronograph. So the good news is I've checked all the brass, I looked over all this stuff. Honestly, those groups would have probably been a lot better had I not drank a bunch of coffee before I came out here because my hands get really shaky. So that's my fault, sorry about that. But I did my best <laughs> with shaky hands and it turned out all right. So anyway, we know that the loads can shoot. We know that they can chamber and feed just fine. That's great for a self-defense load. That's honestly my main concern is that they're reliable. The primers all went off. Everything was safe and functional. So that's, the, that's what we're looking for. We want everything to be safe and functional, but we also want it to do some damage when it hits downrange. The velocities weren't as high, but we talked about that already. That's okay. The biggest thing is that we have tested a new bullet. I like it so far. I've seen ballistics gel tests of these and they did pretty good on camera, at least from what I saw. So I was impressed with what I saw on camera. I don't have any ballistics gel right now to test them. If I do one of these days, I'll throw them through some gel and you guys can see what we get there. But right now I am happy that everything was functioning the way that we wanted it to. I was kind of hoping for a little bit higher velocities, but that's okay, it's not that big of a deal. 1,269 feet per second is fine with me, and considering everything looked safe on the brass, I'm not afraid to load that as a self-defense load, so I'm probably gonna be playing with these a little bit more in the future. So, if you guys like this video, please give it a like. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave a comment below so that I can get some of your feedback, because I do like to hear from you guys and see what you wanna see more of. If you haven't checked out the Facebook page or the website, please look in the description below and check those out because I will be posting blog content on this kind of stuff as well as more um, different categories of, of niches and things of that nature. So 
check them out, see if there's anything that you like, and again, let me know if you have any kind of questions or feedback, feel free to contact me. You guys stay risen, be safe out there, and y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.